All right, focus. Focus. We finished off going over 2D forces. I did not put the prisoner problem on there because that was the last thing we were touching. Please remember our steps. In fact, let me pull the steps back up, and if you will follow the steps with complete precision, you will be fine. Draw a picture. Draw free body diagrams for all objects. Choose positive and negatives. Break all forces into components. F equals MA for all forces in each axis. Again, to solve, if you hit a roadblock, jump to the next axis with the next object. Okay? That's how you solve these things. If you follow them step by step, you will be fine. So, coming back to where we were. We're on a problem here. With 2D forces. Yeah. Forces total? Yeah. Did we ever finish the prisoner problem? Yeah, yeah. we're on the horse problem. Oh, we never finished the horse problem? All right, well, let's finish that out. Now, the horse problem. Two horses pull 21 kilogram stump out of the ground. Stump resists 1,500 newtons. Two horses each pull 1,000 newtons, 45 angles between them. What's the acceleration? So here I drew a picture. Okay, if you don't have that down, get it down. I purposefully put the horses surrounding the x-axis to make life very easy on me. Next step, I broke everything into components. Now, following my steps, I need an x and y axis. And the x-axis, sum of the forces, equals ma. Looks like a nine. What forces do I have in the x-axis? So I have T1 cosine 22.5 plus T2 cosine 22.5. And, and remember, I said, don't worry about the negatives with that angle. Drop the negatives. Okay? Deal with direction manually. Deal with directions manually yourself, which is what we're doing here. We know to the right is positive. The x components are going to the right here. So they need to be positive. Don't worry about applying the negatives and the angles. You're only messing yourself up. Minus 1500 equals MA. Um, conceptually, do I even need to set up the y-axis? No, because which axis is this thing going to accelerate in? In the x, that's the direction the horse is trying to pull it, right? It's the direction the stump is trying to resist. This is going to go in the x-axis. I don't even need the y. Well, I know what T1 and T2 are. Horses each pull with thousand newtons. Thousand cosine twenty-two point five plus thousand cosine twenty-two point five minus fifteen hundred equals what's the mass of the stump? What? Yeah. Twenty-two point five. Hey, look, it's just calculator work now. You push in the numbers in the calculator, the calculator says the answer is. Just make sure you push in the buttons right, not wrongly, rightly. So, um, someone do the entire left side if you look for me. 1,000 cosine 22.5 plus 1,000 cosine 22.5 minus 1,500. 347 points. Seven five nine equals twenty one a. So now divide both sides by twenty one. Sixteen point five five nine meters per second squared. Okay. Six figs. How many do I get? Let's go back and look. Yeah, this is one. Um, yeah. Oh, well, there's a decimal point after 1,000, so there's four there. Two. Two. 1,500, two. 
So it becomes 17. Questions on that? Alright, Bell's going to read a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and start setting up. I'm not done. I'm not done to the bell ring. I'm going to start setting up the next problem. Come on. Alright. Bring your books tomorrow. Bring your books tomorrow so I can go over how to outline, take notes, and learn. See you all later.